0.01. Ah, that. Remember, 2x become 2, 3x become 3. So, color 0.01 cube become 0.01. Cuma sekarang, kita tak pakai x, kita pakai q. Ha, jangan you belajar x bila soalan bagi q tak boleh jawab. Sebab tak pernah belajar q. Sama je q ke x ke y ke apa tak kisah. Same letter. Understand? So, this one will become this. Kalau 5, no Q, no need to differentiate. This one, actually this Q bawah naik atas dulu, you get Q minus 1. So, when you differentiate, so Q minus 1, minus 1 times 100, you get minus 100. Then, the minus 1, minus lagi 1, you get minus 2. Actually, lah. That. Okay? So, from here, I say just now what? Step number 1, DC, DQ, equals to 0. Step number 1 tadi. Ha, dah cari DC, DQ, you equate with 0. Then, from this step, you cari Q lah. So, this one, Q negative 2, pindah balik ke bawah. Ke left. Okay, so this negative 100, you pindah ke kanan. Ha? So, pindah this ke kanan, you get 100 over Q squared. Sebelah kiri, 0.01. Clear lah? And then from here, Q square pindah sini, 0.01 pindah kanan. So, you get 100 divided by 0.01. So, 100 divided by 0.01, if you don't know, you use calculator lah. Semua orang kena bawa calculator lah masa exam. So, you divide, you should get 10,000. So, kalau Q square equals 10,000, that what is Q? Square root lah. Use calculator lah kalau tak tahu. Square root of 10,000, you should get what? So, this is the answer for part B actually. You are asked to find Q. Baru step. Step 2 tau. So, step number 3, we must prove that this is minimum. How to prove this is minimum? We got to go to step number 3. Dengar lah, semua ada tiga step lah. So, step number three, you have to find this one. So, we start from here tadi. Yang kita dapat sini. We start from here. This is DC, DQ. So, step number three, you differentiate from here. You should get D to C, DQ square. Alright? So, differentiate. Ini tak ada Q, no need to differentiate. Look at this one. So, negative two times negative hundred, you get what? Two hundred. Power minus 1, you get negative 3. So, from here, Q negative 3, pindah bawah lah, dia jadi positif. Pindah ke bawah. So, like that. Okay? So, tadi we have already found Q equals to what? 100 again. So, Q equals to 100, so you write. When Q equals to 100, ganti masuk kat sini, 200 over 100 uh, power 3. So, 200, sini 100 over 3, 200 is positive kan? 100 ini power 3 pun positive juga. So, if positive, betul tak? Kita kata, the answer is greater than 0. Yes or no? Yes. Kalau ganti Q 100 sini, betul tak? The answer greater than 0. Yes lah, positive. So, positive means what? Minimum lah. So, kita dah buktikan. We already proven that the answer is minimum. So, kalau dah bukti, conclusion, kesimpulan. Hence, huh? hence means dengan sebab itu, Q equals to 100 will minimize the average cost. Understand tak? Nah? Panjang sikit mungkin ni, tapi very interesting, not very difficult actually. You practice a lot, this girl is question will come out yourself. Okay? Whether revenue or profit or cost, I don't know. One of these will come out. Okay, so the three step tu kena tahu, same only the three step. Okay, go back to the question. Tadi we have finished part B, now part C. Find the minimum value of the average cost. What is the minimum value? So, tadi part B, we already found what? Q equals to 100 will minimize the average cost, isn't it? Now? So, now part C says... Find the minimum average cost. This is the average cost function then. So, you know Q equals 100. Ganti masuk sini lah. 
Ala, then T je, you get the minimum cost. So when Q equals 100, then T, so 100 times 0 0.001, you get 1. 5 plus 5, 100 over 100, you get 1. So when you add, you get what? 7. So the conclusion, hence the minimum value of the average cost is 7. Okay now. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, let's move on to revenue. So three third cost, finish, huh? Now we talk about revenue. So what is the formula to find revenue? Revenue formula is what? P times Q. Remember, huh? Revenue means P times Q, where P is the selling price. But E cost, variable cost is P times Q juga. The P for cost, the P is the cost price. For revenue, the P is the selling price per unit. Understand? So P times Q. How to find the average revenue? Sama lah. Average revenue, you take revenue over Q. Tadi average cost, cost over Q, quantity. Average revenue, revenue divided by quantity. Sama. Okay? Yang ini. Revenue divided by quantity. And how to find marginal revenue? DR per DQ lah. Clear lah. How to find marginal cost? DC, DQ. How to find marginal revenue? DR, DQ. Sama. You differentiate the revenue, you get marginal revenue. You differentiate the cost, you get marginal cost. Okay, now. Okay. How to find maximum revenue? Tadi, remember, in business, we must be...